Virgos. Hey, lovies. Welcome back to another video. I had to do another one. Um, I don't know. The, uh, the one before was very um, preventative. I like that spirit had our back on that. But I um, wanted to do something else to try to pull out some more energy. All right. So, love is your morning. Watch your energy. Watch who you're watching. Watch who you are entertaining and who's trying to get back in your good graces. Right? Hi, y'all. I love you. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, thank you for bringing me here as a positive vessel, a channel of love and light for the Virgos. This is a channel of high vibrations, motivation, healing, acceleration, and love. Thank you so much, Spirit, for all you do in the divine realm, seen and unseen blessings you bestow upon us each and every day. Thank you for healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits, victory in every situation we may face, abundance and overflow, and showing somebody that you are the great I am. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Spirit, for my messages, for my beautiful Virgos. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm not going to take that, but I do see a bridge here. So something bridging the gap, some type of relief or assistance or something coming in, something intervening, divine intervention. I see that here. All right, for my Virgo spirit, thank you for clear messages of love, clarity, and light. Let's see, for Virgo. Ooh, wishes coming true. Okay, we got the well. So the well card in the Lenormand talks about hard work, work paying off. Um, it talks about um, also reminding us to be careful what you wish for because um, you might get it. Okay, you just might get it and it's going to be some hard work involved. Um, five talks about transition. All right. Somebody could have a bit of mental conflict regarding a wish. Or it could be not even mental conflict, but it could be some conflict regarding a wish. Um, or something that is very important to you, something that you like, something that's making you happy. But for some reason, it's somebody in your energy that's not happy about it um, or there's some type of um, interference. So let's see what's going on here. One and zero, we got ten. So this is about somebody on a new beginning. Bit of confusion here with the strife card, with the scythe card. This is somebody, um, maybe a conflict that you need to cut through. It could be something that you need to cut out. You know, something that's brewing that you need to get down to the bottom of. Or this is like the nip it in the bud card. You know, because you got a wish here. Your wishes are coming true. And you don't want anybody trying to get in the way of that, Virgo. This is something you need to pay close attention to. Somebody is also paying very close attention to you. Okay? But this is something that you may have to pay attention to. The magnifying glass talks about um, something being magnified. Something coming to light. Somebody that maybe you need to take a very close look at and see like exactly what's happening here. Because I feel like when it comes to you being happy and your security and your stability, somebody else is not that happy. I feel like this person's keeping a close eye on what you're doing and also there's something that you need to pay. I feel like y'all have been starting to look at this person closely. Yeah, look at the people in your camp. Look at the people who you consider a friend or close to you. Look at their energy. How they conduct themselves, the things that they do on a daily basis. Does this line up with how you feel? Does this contribute to you? Is this how you are? No. I feel like somebody, um, I feel like it's a situation calling for you to have strength. Five, um, this is 15. So equal in a six for your recognized victory as long as you can be strong on this new beginning or somebody having a fresh start. This is 44. Your angels are here. 44 is you on the right path, being reassured that you're on the right path. Also, with these twos, I'm getting two, 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 two. Your angels are here letting you know that they're protecting you no matter what this person may try to do. But you need to look a little closer. All right, it's something that you're missing. Show her one more spirit. What else? Heart with the key. Somebody could be welcoming love. Somebody needs to protect their heart, protect their innocence, protect their purity key yeah i feel like somebody is trying to find out how to get your in like to how to get closer to you or something what the heck child when i tell you these readings are a trip look at this all right so number nine is here 27 somebody is in their head about not being able to speak to you i feel like somebody is taking their time to respond back to you this is a letter but you're gonna get a message all right or somebody gets the message. Somebody could be a bit confused about a message. Hmm. 
somebody's looking for the see that's what i'm talking about <laughs> like you see what i mean yeah you gotta be careful it's somebody in your energy around you or something that you know that's paying close attention to you you need to also pay close attention to this person because this person is sneaky all right this person is very very sneaky and it can have something to do with paying close attention just to the messages that they're giving you pay close attention to the next message that they give you pay close attention or look at the fine print in the message that they send you what message are they sending you is it good does it align with your wishes we're just saying your wishes is on the line you're very blessed you're doing well and you have to protect yourself all right against people who are spying watching you need to pay attention and watch them also keep your friends close and your enemies closer watch them confusion here they're bringing confusion and conflict regarding messages that they're delivering sending text messages some kind of message that they're giving you you got to be careful look at the fine print it's deception here all right let's get into it we're going to go ahead and put some feelings on these cards let's get the alentine wellness card to clarify a little bit more yeah 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 all right let's put the alentine wellness and then i just might use these so let's set them right there let's see uh huh. My card's like hi, haters. <laughs> Let's see. Um. So the scythe card. Why is it here for my Virgos? What's the issue? What I tell you, somebody is just mad. Snake competition, in enemy, clever, happiness, joy, expansion. All right. So I feel like somebody is trying to manipulate. There's somebody trying to attack your happiness. Somebody does not want you to succeed here. Virgo, if you're about to get a job or you got a better job or you got an enhancement or an advancement, some of you are elevating. Somebody is not happy about it. This person is trying to do whatever to stop it. See, they want to be happy. So they want to cut you out. Look at this crazy mess. Like, honey, please. Let's see. This could be somebody's woman or man. <laughs> Show me the... <laughs> Show me the wishing well. Lord, bless these souls. Bless these people. Dark black souls. There's some dusty folks. I don't like this dusty energy. Uh-uh. Date. Okay, so your wishes are coming true. Somebody is coming around. Somebody could want to date you. For some of y'all, you've been waiting for this. Ain't no mistake about it. There's somebody that you want. You asked for it. It's a wish. So they're coming. Let's see. 33, what is happening? Yeah. All right. Two popped out. Pay attention again. Somebody's projecting, mirroring each other, relationship, reflecting old wounds, introspection, and take a risk, being strategic, options, and not showing hand, gambling. So spirit wants you when it comes to um, these relationships um, and people trying to reflect on you, don't show your hand. I feel like people trying to project your energy. People trying to pretend to be like you. Spirit is saying don't don't show your hand be strategic these people are being strategic copying because you this is you this is your energy protected you're the key you got the key this is you you're already chosen this is your heart and your purity this rose represents your love your purity and you are protected you're the key somebody knows this and they're mad somebody sees that you're the key you're the key like the I don't know your energy is pure your energy is healing it's like you're the you're the blueprint you're the original that's what it <laughs> thank you spirit you're the original somebody is pissed about it and all your dreams are coming true you're the original and this person has been trying to mirror you and try to be strategic about it they've been doing this for a very long time and i know you know who i'm talking about these people have been looking at your energy watching how clean and pretty you are how much you take care of yourself how well spoken you are these people started talking like you doing their hair like yours all of that trying to transmute your energy y'all if y'all don't see this you being foolish okay you can see when somebody trying to transmute somebody's energy and copy them one minute they trifling ratchet cussing bad mad nasty you know and then the next minute now they fix their self they clean their self now they wearing their hair like yours wait a minute they look like you hold on they're talking like you 
oh, now they love God like you? Like, look, inevitably, we all, you want people to be healed, right? But you do not want, you don't need nobody trying to transmute your energy and do all this dark stuff. Like, what? You know, be your be yourself. That, that image that, because Virgo, this is how it works. Let me be transparent. When you try to pretend to be somebody else and the person is the original, when you try to pretend to be like the original, you end up stuck in that energy that you mimic. Now, the original can recreate themselves over and over and over again, and it will work. Why? Because they're already chosen to do it. Now, you trying to copy off of me or them, and now you stuck. Because now I evolved. Because constantly, the key, the, the original evolves. Right? I'm just telling you. Yeah, so I feel like this could be somebody, um, their ex, somebody malicious. That you don't mess with this person like that. You don't deal with that energy. Mm -hmm. Somebody watching you ascend. Look, they mad. Somebody is big mad about it. Lightning. Look, okay, so also, you also have a soulmate. Now, this snake, this competition could be anybody. I feel like it's some type of malicious co-worker or neighbor or something that can't stand you. For some of them, it for some of them, they can't stand you because you're amazing, because you're the original. All right, cornbread, fed, made right, sitting tight. Okay, period. You're the original. So they want to be like you. They're copying you. I feel like this could be this person's significant other or something like that. You're getting a, you're, you're, something's coming in for you though. And it has something to do with a soulmate. I feel like that's another reason why the enemy is sending all this crap, the serpent. Uh, I feel like this person is just, whew. I don't know if they want the same man. They want the same money. Like, what do they, what does this person want? Virgo, they want something from you. Watch closely. What do you need to watch? Somebody's watching you. Have faith. Love is coming. It says surprise, inter, surprise invitation or meeting. Somebody's hesitating, but somebody's been watching you, keeping an eye on you too. Somebody that's good. You got this person, this dusty right here watching you. And then you got this person right here. That likes you all right so you got somebody that wants to be you or steal your energy they want to take your job or this person just need god oh man i wish you get away from us he keep coming back okay let's see what this letter is somebody gonna be sending you a message or something having to do with some messages oh y'all somebody is look messages so something has to do with a shocking attack about a message that's going to be delivered, something like that. Pay attention because I feel like with Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, an invitation or a meeting. I feel like something about where you meet at. Pay attention to where you're meeting at. Something having to do with love or you being patient. So it's something that you need to do wherever you're going at. Who the heck is this? Y'all, this is a meeting. It's like wherever you're meeting at. Because this says a meeting. So wherever you're meeting at and watching, watching, wherever you're watching or meeting at, paying attention to, that's giving you a message, a letter, text, text message or email or somebody, you're watching messages. Look at this shit. That's what... Anyway, I feel like um, for some of you, you're watching messages and somebody's projecting negativity onto you. Somebody is keeping you stuck watching them because they need your money. Somebody is, it's somebody that's always like asking for a handout or trying to get you to feel sorry about them or, you know, always tapping into your emotions to get you to give. You know, like what is that? It's that person. Anyway, let's move on. Let me see. It's just like whatever they do, it's always something trying to tap into your emotion. They either try to make you real mad or make you hate people. Or, who is this? It's, I feel like this for a lot of y'all is just this toxic co-worker or something. Some of y'all work with some really toxic people that can't stand you. They watching you evolve and do well and they're a snake. A backstabbing snake. Yes. What the hell? <laughs> y'all, this is crazy. 
I try not to use the other cards and get some new energy in this snake, honey. Spirit wants you to be aware of this. But I feel like this could be even the other woman. So I feel like um, it's somebody's other woman or the other man. I feel like it's a fox. So I feel like it's another woman. All right, Spirit, show Virgo feelings. What's happening here? Show Virgo more, please. Virgo more. All right, so I see. So now Spirit is telling me more about this person that is in your energy that is um, wanting to connect with you. So now this is just a warning, letting you know what's going on around you. So we had somebody wanting to express truth here about you being their wish fulfillment, chemistry, and passion. Feel like you have found your purpose, and maybe this person has been waiting for that. I feel like since you found your purpose, you're getting gifts. That is crazy. Let's see what else. I feel like because you know your self-worth, you're getting gifts. I had to pull out some more energy, honey. Let's see. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, I feel like, yeah, it's the truth. Expression of truth. You could have stood up for yourself. I feel like you speak the truth. I feel like um, somebody wants to come to you and express the truth. Um, and I feel like this has been your wish. You've been waiting for this person to come and talk to you. There's a lot of chemistry and passion here between you and somebody. So this is soulmate energy. Again, we had the soulmate energy up here on the wish card. So I feel like um, when it comes to you and this person, this is your soulmate. And I feel like um, you're, you're not expecting this, but they're going to come towards you and offer you, ask you out on a date. Um, meanwhile, back at the ranch, you got Dusty, Busty, Crusty under here looking at you, watching you succeed, and they can't stand it. Well, meanwhile, you're focusing on your money, love, and all these beautiful things coming towards you. Spirit just doesn't want you to miss this. Don't be too busy focusing on everything else that you don't see love here. So somebody is in your energy that likes you. Hmm. What does Virgo need to know? Show Virgo this truth. I saw this relationship deserves a second chance, so somebody is going to be able to get a second chance. What's this truth here from my Virgo spirit? Show Virgo clear messages, holy angel. The attraction you feel is mutual. So the truth is that whoever this is wanting to date you, boo, back to the positive. You know, they want to date you and they like you. Chemistry, the attraction is real. Support when it comes to getting your wish granted. Lean on your circle. All right, lean on your circle at this time. Your circle has your back. Where your circle over here? We have your back. Your physical circle has your back. Passion, chemistry. You you have done the work and abundance flows to you now. Now you're about to get your true love, Virgo. Now you're about to get the money and the wealth that you deserve. This life that you've been imagining, this is coming into fruition for you. This person can't stop you. Let me just see something. Spirit, show me clear messages. What's going to happen to this person that is sending my Virgo bad energy? What's going to happen to this person that's sending Virgo bad energy? What's this competition? What's going to happen to this person? Yep, look. Sudden, look. They're going to get karma for it. Shocking. Shocking attack. And then they're going to end up being the ones chasing money, wealth, everything. This person won't get karma for what they're doing to you. Don't worry about it, Virgo. You stay on your right path. You're doing the right thing. Let this dusty, crusty, musty, scrusty thing stay over there where they're at. Whatever. Don't let this person affect what you got going on, baby. It's your time. And ain't nothing nobody can do about it. Period. Nobody can do anything about it. Let me see. Let me get my cords. Spirit, show Virgo advice, please. We're going to put the advice right in the middle. Show Virgo advice in this situation. What does my Virgo need to do? What does Virgo need to know about this surrounding energy and how you would like them to move on their path? For my Virgo, how do they move? All right. So Spirit is saying when it comes to an equal give. All right. So six of coins. Spirit is saying don't give in to this situation. Ignore this situation. Don't give in to it. Unpaid debt. One-sided charity. And it also says self-care. So spirit says six of coins in reverse. Focus on yourself. Don't give into this situation. Don't give to that person. And also save your money. Don't don't invest your money when you're in when you're abundant into somebody that is wishing bad on you. Don't give them anything. No, because that goes against you manifesting your money. You have to be careful where you plant your seeds. 
All right. So five of swords. And don't fall for the pity party. Oh, my God, please. All right. Conflict, disagreement, competition, and defeat. Yeah, because I feel like somebody feels defeated. I feel like when it comes to this, um, somebody feels defeated and they're trying to get you to, they're trying to bring you down and get you in the mix with it. Like, no, Spirit is saying self-care, take care of yourself. Don't give to this situation. Five of Swords, don't give into arguing. And when it comes to Six of Pentacles, equal give and take back and forth, Spirit said don't do it. No, heal, you're elevated, stay serene, be set apart. Look at this. Spirit is saying... Yeah, self-care. This is saying rest, rejuvenate. This is meditate. Je Look, you're in this energy. And this person is in this energy. Why? Spirit is saying do not. Don't come off your throne for that. No. Right? Spirit is saying don't. don't because they're going to get dealt with. We've seen it. They're going to be chasing. Just like they're chasing money now, they're going to be chasing money. They're going to they gonna lose. Period. Look at this. Oh, and it could be a queen of coins. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. I feel like this could be a queen of coins here. Or a king of coins. It could be a queen of coins person sending you this type of energy. And it could also be spirit telling you, queen of coins, to stay balanced and don't give in to, don't, don't um, give in to that. Continue to heal. You're elevated. You're doing well. You're sitting pretty. Right? So go ahead and focus on yourself. Don't let people get you distracted. Again. <laughs> but that's only for that part. But back to this new love thing. You got this soulmate coming in and the chemistry is mutual. This person is going to be reaching out to you. Somebody is about to get their soulmate, Virgo. Make sure you put it in the comments. Y'all are finding new love left and right because you are watering these seeds that are being planted, baby. You picking up what I'm putting down, all right? And it is showing beautiful things are happening in your life. And I love it. Thank you for being here with me, Virgo. I love you guys. Let's see what your self-love affirmation card is. Whoa, that one flew on the daggone floor. What the heck? <clears throat> Return to self. Come home to you. Give yourself, give to yourself. Be your own first priority. It is time to fall in love with you. Yes, so I feel like things are going so, so well for you. You're coming up out of this emotional funk. A lot of you have been feeling emotionally bothered or troubled, and I see you coming out of that. A lot of these people are just not worth your time and your energy anyway. Just watch out for this person looking over, um, trying to find out what you're doing and trying to attack your... This this is karma for them. We saw it. They're going to be chasing money. They're going to fall from grace. You can't do that to a divine. And you are earth angel. That's why you're here with me. All right. I love you. Let's get out of here, y'all. Um, Go ahead and give the devil two black eyes today and like this video. Go ahead and drop your purple heart. Claim this message because small thing to a giant, you are more than a conqueror. All right. And you already know that. Nothing they can do to stop you, baby. Come on. <laughs> All right, Virgo. I love you. Um, and tell me about this new love. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, Virgo.